In your 20s, you should be focused on two things. One is building your skills, and the other is developing habits. And skills, in this case, it's critical thinking, you know, learning how to do, you know, uh, analytical uh, work, learning how to build capability, real skills. In his case, it's, you know, Excel and spreadsheets and what are the tools and, and programming. And then there's the habits. And habits, of course, you know, are broad ranging. There's a habit of treating your body right, the way you eat, the way you exercise, uh, making sure you fulfill your commitments, making sure that you are giving praise to, to, to God, making sure that you were thinking about your community. And I said, if you build those skills getting up in the morning, right? I said, if you build those skills and those habits that when you hit your 30s, you will often hear something or discover something that you think is gonna create an economic opportunity for you. But if you haven't built those skills and those habits, you will never able to pursue those and be successful. And so, to a great extent, my path to becoming a private equity came from skills and habits. I started my, my career as an engineer. I started at Bell Laboratories when I was 17 years old as an intern, but I built the skill there to understand how to do critical thinking, how to take large problems, make them into small problems, and then solve those small problems and put them together and develop the habits of what I call outworking everyone and informing myself about what it is that I was, I was interested in beyond the levels of anyone else in that environment.